dear Toastmasters and guests. There are several things that bother me every day. Every day I ask myself why in the world I should stare 10 hours a day at this stupid computer screen. Why should I be available 24 hours, 7 days a week on my cell phone? Why should I communicate to my friends on social networks? Today, I'm going to talk about new technologies that changed our lives so dramatically. And here is my hit parade of these technologies with the years when they became more or less widespread. So these are personal computer, internet, and mobile phone. <coughs> Initially, these technologies seemed to be really cool ones, as they made our life more efficient, more convenient, and more amusing. <clears throat> but then, something went wrong. They changed our daily life too dramatically. We just found ourselves in a different world. Computer is turning to be a narcotic. Mobile phone is an icon, like iPhone is. Internet is becoming a second reality. Is it what we wanted to get from new technologies? Do we really want our life to become so technological and digital? Does it really give us any benefits? Does it make us happy? I was looking for the answer to these questions, and my research seems to be fruitless. New technologies make our work more productive? Probably. But if you look at the statistics, you cannot find any sign of, of significant economic growth or personal income growth. Do new technology make our work more comfortable? Probably they do for some people, like, for example, engineers uh, really gain a lot from using computers as they don't have to do a lot of manual work like drawing electroskins by hands, and they have more time for doing creative job. But the other specialists got tons of dull computer work, like preparing PowerPoint presentation, Excel spreadsheets, writing letters, or just surfing the internet pretending that they are working. <laughs> New technologies make us happier. Probably they did at the beginning, but as you see in the result of World Weather Survey, since the middle of the 90s, the feeling of happiness is constantly decreasing. It doesn't surprise me. Look at ourselves. We are becoming a society of consumption. We want to buy more and more new things. New iPhone, new iPod, new iPad, new Mac. We are changing mobile phone and computers one by one. But does it make us happier? I have a mobile phone. I can use it to call my mom or grandma to make sure that she feels fine. It's great, I admire this opportunity, but do I need an iPhone to do that? Do I need a super powerful laptop to check my emails, to watch movies? We are obsessed with technologies that, that are fake, that don't give us real functionality. We are covering the needs that we didn't have a month ago. Do we really need computer games? Do we really need 3D? Do we really need touch screen? Do we? Think about your core values. Think what really makes you happy in your life. I cannot answer for all of you, but I know it for myself. I value pure nature, fresh air, blue sky. I value, I value people, my family and friends and the time we spend together. I value health and well-being as only being healthy and fit you can enjoy your life. Has anything improved in my list 
in the past 20 years. Unfortunately, no. The ecology is getting worse and worse. The atmosphere is extremely polluted and it's getting hard to breathe in big cities. We're spending less and less time with our friends and people we love because our life temple is too high and we simply don't have time for that. Our health is also worsening because we are living in this polluted atmosphere and spend most of time in these office boxes. Tell me, people, where are we moving? What are we doing with our life? Are we developing the technology in the right direction? Probably no. Probably we should focus more on the technology that preserve our nature, on medicine, on agriculture. Probably we should move away from this humiliating consumerism. It is we who decide. And we have to identify where to move and stand for this, because our future is in our hands. Thank you.